Welcome to MicroStrategy. My name is Michael Hoffmann and I'm working as a Senior Sales Engineer for MicroStrategy Germany. With the following video I want to give you an overview of some pretty new features in MicroStrategy 10 that are very important if you want to replace the development of traditional dashboards with Visual Insight in order to save a lot of money and time in your development process. But before we start with the features, I want to explain the differences of traditional Pixel Perfect dashboards and responsive Visual Insight dashboards. With MicroStrategy 10 you can build very powerful and good looking dashboards without coding. You can adjust lots of parameters with drag and drop or property panels and you are able to implement a Pixel Perfect design as well. Pixel Perfect dashboards are very important for management use cases and they can run in web, mobile, PDF and Office without adjustments. Because of the fact that you can adjust every single pixel you need between days and weeks in order to implement a powerful dashboard with lots of features. If you don't need a Pixel Perfect approach, you can think about using Visual Insight dashboards as an alternative, as these dashboards offer a wide range of functionality as well. But the main advantage of Visual Insight dashboards is the fact that you need only minutes or hours for your implementation, so you can save a lot of money and time that you can spend in more BI projects. MicroStrategy 10 fills the gap of Visual Insight in version 9.4.1. From now on, Visual Insight has the power to replace more traditional dashboards than ever before, and this is a great advantage for our customers. Besides, it's so easy to implement these dashboards as you don't need any IT skills. Here you can see a quick example how fast you can build your visualizations with Visual Insight in version 10. After this example I will start with the introduction of the new features that bridge the gap of Visual Insight in version 9.4.1. Compared to Pixel Perfect dashboards, Visual Insight dashboards work with a responsive design approach. This means that the whole dashboard optimizes all its visualizations based on the size of the browser window in real time. This can be a big advantage if you want to support several screen resolutions. And now let's get started with some of the new important features. Most of them are not very colorful, but very powerful. MicroStrategy 10 offers much more flexibility to access the underlying databases directly via the unified MicroStrategy metadata layer with all its definitions for metrics and attributes. This access is available directly from Visual Insight and besides Visual Insight can work in a live connect mode with this approach. This means that the front end is able to leverage the power of the underlying database servers much better than ever before and you don't need to define reports or iCubes in order to start with a new dashboard in VI. The dashboard that I started now works in that way. The underlying database is very slow and it was my intention to implement this example in that way so that you can see that the query runs against the database and that MicroStrategy will fire a new query against the database each time the user changes his selection. This means that the selectors you see work in live mode as well. This is great if you want to leverage the power of your SAP HANA or Oracle Exadata databases for an example. If you need to replace datasets in VI, you can do this from now on. You can replace live connections with a memory data, for example, and you can even change the references from attributes and metrics for the whole dashboard in seconds. With MicroStrategy 10, you can combine an extremely wide range of data sources and you can decide if you want to work in online or in memory mode. You can even mix modes and you can change these access modes at any time.
You can enrich your data and you can blend your data sources in memory and you can even work within memory partitions in order to address billions of rows. If you need to change the references for specific attributes and metrics for the whole dashboard but without replacing the dataset, you can do this as well. These features are very helpful if you need to adjust your dashboard or if you need to point your solution to different data references. This replacement process works for every grid or graph in any panel that is part of any sheet in a dashboard. If you want to build traditional and very powerful dashboards, you need local selectors with individual selector targets. This was an important deficit of Visual Insight in version 941. With version 10 it's possible. The location of the selectors can be defined by the dashboard designer. This means that selectors can work outside the selector panel in VI. You can define how selectors can reference other selectors in order to implement an associative analysis. The new in-memory engine of version 10 offers a lot new features. Two of them are the capabilities to define derived attributes and dynamic groups on the fly. Both of them can be reused as traditional attributes. So they work with selectors and any other processes as well. You can even derive attributes from metrics and vice versa and you can derive dynamic groups from derived attributes as well. A great function library with more than 300 functions support you in the process to derive your attributes and groups. And now I want to show you how to derive a new attribute that consists of the first characters of a customer's first name and last name. This is done in seconds. In the example before you saw a dynamic group of customers that are derived from a derived attribute that holds the first letter of a customer's first name. At the end of this example, I define a dynamic group based on the derived attribute. If you want to develop complex and functional rich dashboards, you need the capability to define color palettes for attribute values. This can be done now in version 10 and this definition is active for the whole dashboard. So from now on you can save a lot of time when you need to color your graphs. Color palettes can be defined on a project level as well. This wasn't possible before. It doesn't matter in which graph you change the color for your items. The engine inherits the color codes for all graphs that work with the same attribute. One of the most painful limitations of VI in version 941 was the missing functionality to format grids and graphs individually. Besides, it wasn't possible to define graphical overlays in graphs with dual axes if you have more than one metric in the same graph. This can be done now and the formatting capabilities are really great. I don't want to show them in detail because we have so many options now. Instead, I want to highlight the new graphical feature to produce graphical overlays if you have more than one metric in the same graph and if you want to produce a dual axis graph. With the new drop zones in graphs, you can produce dual axis graphs very easily.
you can define the graphical style for each metric individually. And if you want to produce graph matrix styles, this can be done very easily as well. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Please keep in mind that this video only highlighted some of the new capabilities of Visual Insights in version 10 that are very important if you want to replace traditional dashboards with Visual Insight and if you don't need a pixel-perfect approach. This was only a very small part of the overall enhancements of the platform. But from now on, Visual Insight in version 10 can do more than just ad hoc analysis and agile data discovery. So as a customer, you can save a lot of time and money in the development process of dashboards in your company. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. I wish you all the best. Bye.